Okay, earlier I upgraded to the Progressive Dynamics PD4655 battery charger slash converter upgrade for my RV. I got the model that just upgrades the charging circuit and I keep the existing WFCO um, converter you see here in, but um, what's down below behind the scenes, the charging circuit, that's what got upgraded. So something I did for the past 20 hours was I ran um, the fan and an incandescent light in order to drain the batteries down to about 11.8 volts. Um, I just did a quick test of the new converter and it is charging at 50 plus amps, but I'm going to drain the batteries down a little bit again so I can do a video demonstration. So I've got this fan on high, I've got the lights on, I've got the range hood fan on. I've got the AC fan only on hooked up to the inverter. LED light over there doesn't really count for much. I've um, got the bath exhaust fan on and the one remaining incandescent light in the trailer here, the bath light. Okay. You can see that thicker cable. That's a nice number three cable. Um, in case anybody's thinking about stealing it, I've got it strapped down really good. And got the battery down to about 12 volts here. It was earlier down to about 11.8. Um, and this is with no load, other than an LED um, ceiling light, which shouldn't account for much. So now I'm going to plug it in, and we're going to switch over to amperage. Okay, so let's plug it into shore power. And so that's a voltage, but let's turn it over to amps. And there you can see, wow, 56.1 amps. It's going to drop here for a little bit, but I'm going to start a timer here. I'm going to check back periodically. Fifty-three amps. Yeah, it is dropping a little quick, but well, there it's holding somewhat steady. No need to manually put it into bulk mode. That light going steady means it's already it's smart enough to know. Put in bar mode. Now you can hear that hum. And you hear that grinding? That's the, the cooling fans cooking up because this thing is just pumping a shitload of power into those batteries. It said 50 plus amps. You hear that? Not just the normal, fairly silent cooling fan, but the larger auxiliary cooling fan has kicked in. Gotta keep that transformer and the capacitors um, from overheating since it's pumping all that amperage to the battery. So we go back out to the battery pack. The amperage is taped off a little bit, but not too significant there. It's sticking at about 51.8, 51.9, which is hella good. Um, so I'm gonna check back every 10, 15 minutes or so. And see how it does. Okay, at 30 minutes we're at 46.5 amps, which has gone down a little bit, but still is really good. Okay, now at 45 minutes, charging at 42.8 amps. Okay, at 60 minutes it's at 39.2 amps. Okay, one hour and 15 minutes we're at 35.9 amps charging rate. Okay, at 90 minutes, it's at 32.15 amps charge, 32.14. Okay, at an hour and 45 minutes, the charge rate is 28.83. And I have to take back all uh, my remarks about the fan cranking up at high speed, and you could hear it roaring before. Um, turned out there was um, wire brushing up against the fan, so I fixed that. So now all you hear is a gentle hum, and the fans are turning, but they're actually quite quiet fans, um, just in case um, anybody was wondering. Okay, now at 2 hours, charge rate is 25.95. Not bad. Might be even higher if I um, upgrade the ground connection between the charger and the chassis ground. And at 135 minutes, we're charging at 23.16 amps. Ok, 
Okay, now at 2 hours 30 minutes, um, otherwise known as 150 minutes, charge rate is 20.83 amps. Okay, now at 165 minutes, charging at approximately 18.58 amps, and let's get to the voltage here. Bat voltage at the battery is 14.8. And finally at 180 minutes, 3 hours, charging amp rate at 16.47. And let's see what the voltage is at the battery. Voltage at the battery is 14.07.